And what is happening, everyone? It's good to see everyone back. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks everyone for such the great, uh, such a great response to all the vlogs, all the love and support. I really appreciate it. The goal difference, we really appreciate all the love and support as always. And today is going to be a fantastic day. It's the finals between in the Singapore Cup final between Tampines Rovers and Haugang United. So do you think the stacks are going to add more trophies to their collection, or? You think Haugang is going to add their first silverware into their collection and bring the Singapore Cup back to Haugang United. So today I'm rocking my 1992 Bruce Madonna Adidas kit. You know, since we are leading the league five points leading to the World Cup, I thought it would be nice to represent the Gunners. Alright, so let's see how this goes, yeah? So the plan right now is I'm going to say hi to a friend. Yeah, I'll say hi to him. Then I'll go walk over I'm going to meet Eddie from Sailor, Sailor's Fan Talk. And then we'll see how this goes. Today is going to be a cracking day. Buzzing atmosphere as always. Uh, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I said I'm going to meet a friend. So my <laughs> friend is working at Songane. It's a very good Korean restaurant at Jalan Basa. So if you are around the area, please go ahead and eat Songane. And Russell, my keyboardist, my good friend from Tomasic oh. Poly, uh, my bandmate. I'll maybe put a link here to see you can go and support our band. We've been a bit inactive, but maybe it's in time. We'll be active again in music. Hopefully, hopefully. So. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Do support. I know you guys have been supporting the football page and, you know, maybe you can drop uh, the band a listen and see whether you like the music or not. And yeah, so Russell, hello there. Cool, nice to see you. Sir. Do you know anything about football? No, nothing. Nothing, right? Alright, so I'm just to let you know, I'm going to watch the finals today at Jalan Besar. Uh -huh. It's between Tampines Verovers versus Haugang United. Okay? So, based on the 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 city or based on the street that do you prefer Haugang or do you prefer Tampines, the neighborhood? <laughs> so that will be your predictions well, for the game. People always say east side, west side, so Tampines. <laughs> Alright. So do not take his words for it, but he's going for a Tampines win right now because I know he prefers Tampines over Haugang. Just friendly banter here. So yeah. good to see you Russ. Good to see you man. Take care mate. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so just had a quick chat with Russell. Um, I'm gonna, you know, just, it's like, just like banter, so if you guys enjoy. I mean, we do, it's just a close friend, just thought, come and say hi before the game. Uh, as I said earlier on, it's gonna be a fantastic finals today. Um, I'm going to keep the, I'm gonna, sorry. Ugh, I'm gonna burp. <coughs> oh dear, that was loud. Anyways, I'm going to keep the gimbal now. Uh, because of the fact that the tickets are e-tickets, so it's a bit irritating. I need to show the e-ticket and then, you know, the usual very uh, ma fun. Lah, huh? So I'm going to keep the gimbal. Uh, then uh, the footage will continue in the stadium. Yeah, so with that being said, uh, you, my live stream, I predicted that Haugang is going to win it 3-1. So we'll see whether that prediction comes true. Haugang may potentially have a good showing today. Their, their form is good, their momentum is good. However, Tampines is definitely the strongest side on paper and you know, they look to continue their streak, add silverware into their trophy collection. So, it's Tampines versus Haugang today. See you guys in the stadium. Alright, we are here at Jalan Besar. Here you got Cashco with me, Joshua. How are you? Alright, so uh, we were a bit late. Uh, actually, now Haugang is up 1-0. And uh, we were queuing up when they scored, right? It was fantastic. Yeah, right? Cry check with the goal. Cry with the goal. And we see whether we can go in now. Uh, we got seats reserved from Eddie. Eddie from Sailor Fan Talk has helped us reserve some seats. So let's see the crowd, yeah? You can see the footage, the scenes are immaculate. 24 minutes in, Haugang Hulls were fantastic with the performance right now. Come on, Haukang. Come on, let's go. Haukang, see our predictions is true or not. So let's see whether we can find our seats. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, find our seats. Yeah, here they are. Hey, thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, so we had our seats. Fantastic scenes, 24 minutes into the game. Come on, Haogang, let's go, let's get it. Fantastic, 
fantastic save. So um, let's do some interviews now, yeah? It's 26 minutes now, and then we've got a good friend here. We've got Eddie from Sailor's Fan Talk. Let's pen it to him. How are you, mate? Hey, guys, I'm great. You guys missed a great goal, man. Yeah, I missed it. Well, whatever. At least we are here, right? At least we are here. So how was the first 20 minutes for Haogang? It was pretty even, actually. But Haogang is clearly the more physical of the two sides. Yep. But then, right, the goal was just genius. Yeah. Some dude just back it. I think it was Pedro back it, and then Kiki just finished it. Brilliant. Awesome to see, awesome to see. Caleb, how do you find the games as well? It was really intense. I mean, okay, first of all, uh, big up to the Haogang Hoos, yeah. full force today. Uh, can't say the same about the Yellow Knights, nah, but... <laughs> but, hey man, I think, uh, like Eddie said, it's pretty even. Okay. But uh, I think Haogang do have the edge in this game so far. Uh, I think uh, it's, pretty, it's been pretty cagey that aside, so I think, you know, it's still anyone's game. Uh, either side, uh, you know, if, if anyone slightly slips up, uh, we're definitely going to see more goals. But uh, yeah, right now it says it's all looking how Gang's way, man. All right, you love to see it. We are my predictions how Gang 3 1, yeah? So let's see, Joshua, are you gonna, they're still begging for a 3 2 win for Tempest? Of course, I think they got the quality, they're gonna come back and win 3 2. You love to see it. All right, let's head back to the action, yo. Alright, so Imi Reka just had a good shot outside the penalty box. It's still 1 0 here for Haogang. 1 0, 29 minutes in. Uh, Haogang has been dominating the play thus far. I think it's looking good for them. I, it's, you know, in the, in the vlogs and also in our predictions, we did say that Haogang has the edge here. So, I mean, 3 to 3 to 2, the head to head. So, good to see Haogang winning here. Can Tempanese Mount a comeback? Stay tuned and find out more. Alright, Kyoga just had a good shot out of the penalty box. 31 minutes into the game. It's a corner for Tampines Rovers. Let's see how this goes. So I don't think I have to stress this uh, more, but the Haogang Hools have been fantastic as usual. I, I'm sure you can hear them from the back. They are, you know, they are screaming their lungs out. You know, I'm sure you watched the previous vlog. They've been an awesome experience for them. And this is looking good for them, looking good for them. Tempanese just had a good chance, but we'll see how that goes, yeah, Joshua? Yeah, Tempanese is looking to break through again. And, you know, they could score any time with the quality they have. So Haogang should be aware, but the fans, absolutely amazing. Okay, so it's a foul for Haogang. And then it's 34 minutes in. And then I actually didn't have enough time to talk about this, but I do want to do a small giveaway to the crowd. So I see whether that goes, yeah. Uh, I've got a small gift. Maybe I'll quiz some of the fans here. So do enjoy. Maybe you look out for the content. Joshua and I will go around asking some fans some questions, yeah. So you love to see the crowd here. Really awesome experience and atmosphere.
Patrick Supano with a splendid goal. How can fail to close him down outside the penalty box? He shot a perfect shot outside the penalty box. What are your thoughts about the goal, Joshua? Yeah, it was a really great run, really good finish, and you know, it's good news for Singapore to have strikers on form, to be honest. Fantastic, we love to see because coming out of the Mitsubishi Cup, so you know, we love to see wingers and strikers having good form coming out of the Mitsubishi Cup. So, with that being said, yeah, Joshua. How Kang fans still in good spirits, so you know, what a game, you know, it's going to be, as Brendan said, a cracker of a game. Let's go. It's going to be a cracker of a game. You love to see here at Jalan Besar, one all right now. And, you know, as I say, we're going to do some interviews later, so do stay tuned, and we'll be back in the action. Okay, so it's 41 minutes here, and then, you know, as you can see, familiar faces from the Sailors, a contingent, yeah? So, what do you want to, so far, how do you find the game? Interesting. Oh, there's a chance for Hong Kong. Oh, okay. That's quite close. Plenty Bottom, of yeah. chances. Yeah. Plenty of chances. I think, fair enough, 1 1. Tampanese had, like, the. had, like, the momentum with them the past few minutes. Yep. But, obviously, Hong Kong winning is the lesser of two evils. I may be wearing yellow today. But I don't like to see the yellow on Japanese. Oh, okay. I mean, some spicy comment. How about you, Jasper? I feel like it's a really a uh, very tough fight for both of them. But one thing I would say, oh. I'm going for Aogang win because my friend is the number 17 of the Aogang. And he's also a, a Sailor's legend and also a home legend. So I'm really for him to win nice. because it's probably his last game. Yeah. And as I believe it could be his last game before his retirement. So we, we go out to support Aogang today. Sweet, and what's your prediction? I would say uh, full time. 3-1 to Aogang. Three, one, Aogang. Same like me. I also going for Aogang. How about you? I, I think it's a 2 all. I don't mind getting a draw. We get extra time. Yeah. But Penalties, you say? I, but I, yeah, but I rather Aogang win it. <laughs> fair, very fair. All right. Cheers, mate. Cheers for the interview. Um, Kopitovic. Um, Shut up, Boris. Boris touched the ball. Shut okay. up, Boris. Shut up, Boris. Shut up, Boris. Boris <laughs> overrated. Uh, so you see. There's some controversy, Boris touched the ball, I mean, sorry, how, he thought that the Hong Kong touched the ball after the goal kick, he went for the ball and, yeah, uh, the fans are rowdy as hell here, so, good to see, good to see, great scenes here. Kopitovic had a chance in the 44th minute. Unfortunate, yeah, he first timed it. And it's going to be half time. Looks like it's going to be one all. We're going to do a half time analysis, which is not really accurate because we're here in like the 23rd minute. But, you know, stay so tuned. It's like a half of half time analysis. Half of half time analysis, you know. Stay tuned for more. All right, so we are deep into first half. First half stoppage time. Kyoga Nakamura steps up to take the free kick. Let's see whether he can, whether Tempanese can capitalize right before half time. And he amounted to nothing. Time score at the break is how long United 1, Japanese Brothers 1. Okay, so let the goal difference bring you a half of a half time analysis, yeah? So, Joshua, what are your thoughts so far from the 23rd minute to the 45th minute? I think quite evenly contested, you know, since we've come in, Japanese have had quite a few chances and uh, deserve equaliser, I would say, based on that second half of the first half. Very fair, very fair. I think I would imagine how Gang started really brightly. Uh, based on what Eddie and Caleb said earlier on. And I think Tampanese, it was a deserved equaliser, you know, they were, they were they were knocking on the door, yeah? And I think we are braced for a goals galore for the second half. I think we can look out for that. And as I said, the atmosphere is buzzing here in Jalan Besar Stadium. And you love to see there's so many people here for the finals. You know, it's great to see such great fans here. Uh, neutrals, Haogang fans, Tampanese fans, all uh, up in numbers. And with that being said, we're going to do a giveaway. So do look out for that. And let's see who will be our lucky participant. So, here we go. Okay, before we give away the prize, I've got a very special guest here. You know, he's one of the OG vloggers in Singapore. You know, it's great to see him here. He's part of the Haogang Hulls. We got Amsha. How are you, brother? I'm doing good, man. What's up? Uh, cheers, cheers, cheers. So, I just want to ask you, what are your thoughts so far about the game? I think uh, it's been pretty even on both ends, but I'm really faithful, uh, hopeful that Haogang is going to win today. Bring back the first silverware that we have ever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I predicted a three-one for Haogang. You know. So let's see whether that pans out. And then, you know, I will definitely drop a link for his vlogs. And you know, he's the OG vlogger is back at vlogging. So do check his content. His content is fantastic. Match day SG vlog, right? Yeah, match day SG. So fantastic. You love to see it. And 
Come on, you hoops. Let's go. No worries, mate. Come on, Algon. Come on, Algon. Come on, Algon. Let's go. Okay, so now we are going to look for our lucky participants to see whether they can win the prize. So the prize is an Adidas Toto, uh, tote bag. Why did I say Toto bag? <laughs> tote bag, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's, I'm scouting around, see who wants to be part of the... So who do we have here? We have Lucas from the previous vlog. How are you doing, mate? Good. Good. How do you find the first half performance? How Kang were like very bad for like the last 25 minutes. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So, so, so Tampani deserves to score. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's, uh, and look at who's hey, here! Hey, Lucas Dave, Pana, hello, mate. How are you going, buddy? Mate, I tell you what, we lived dangerously in that last 20 minutes. I'm not surprised they close. We started off well, but you know, we have to regroup now and uh, start the second half a lot better. Fantastic. Yeah, Good to see you. You know why I'm rapping today? The Arsenal, come on you Gunners. We are all Arsenal fans here. Come on you Gunners. Come on you Gunners. Go Alright, let's go mate. Alright. <laughs> Hi right, brother, uh, you want to do an interview? Short interview? Cheers mate. Alright, so uh, I took a, li a little too long for the interview so, uh, with Amsha, so now I'm trying to struggle to find a uh, participant. Okay, let's see whether there's a couple. Hi there, do you want to do an interview? Uh, okay, cheers, cheers. So as you can see, a bit struggling here and there, but you know, we will, you know, we will on, first of all, you guys see that. Let's see our a lot of shy. Let's see our poster. Let's see our poster. All right, man. Poster. A very sub budget uh, A4 A3 poster. Yeah. So credits to Katong Shopping Center. <laughs> credits to Katong Shopping Center. All right. Okay. Before we start this interview, I had to uh, attract these fans because I actually didn't want to do an interview, but because I said there was a prize or potentially, so maybe the prize could allure them to Let's do this go. interview. All right. Um, what's your name, guys? Uh, I'm Imran. Imran? Yeah. Farhan. Farhan? Benjamin. Benjamin. And who are you rooting for today? Aukang. Aukang. Aukang, Aukang. Yeah. Alright, Aukang. I'm also rooting for Aukang. Score predictions today? 3-1 um, for me. Same same as me, 3-1. 2-1. 2-1? Yeah, okay. I would say 2-1 as well. 2-1. Alright, fair, fair, fair. Alright, so the questions. I'm going to ask you three questions. I think it's pretty easy. Alright. Okay, first question is, how many times have Tampanese Rovers won the Singapore Cup? Okay, I'll give you three chances because three of you all, yeah? Certainly way more now. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me give you a hint. A ballpark figure between... Obviously not so low, right? Because Tampani is quite decorated, yeah? yeah? So maybe I'll give you like three to seven or eight. Oh. Three chances. I, hey, that's really... That's quite, quite, that's quite, yeah. yeah. I will... I'll go with a middle number. Five. Nah, wrong. Okay, but you're really close. Really close. I gotta, I gotta say you're really close. So five is wrong. Wrong number. Six. Getting colder. Getting colder. So it's up to you. So it's either three or four, mate. I'll say it's four. All right. So you got the right answer. Four is the right answer. Okay, so that was by, that was legit stoppage time winner right there. Okay. So the next question. How many times have Hao Gang won the Singapore Cup? Okay. So this one, it's pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way. So, what are your thoughts? Three chances again. None. You got it bang on. There's an early goal right there. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, this could, today could be their first silverware if they win. All right. So, the last question is, which I don't, I think you probably cannot answer, but have you guys subscribed and liked to the goal difference? Oh, um, sadly, no. Uh, are you going to do it after this? Of course. All right. You'd yeah. love to see it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for participating. And this is the reward. Hold on, yeah. Let me get it for you. Legit, legit. Damn, bro. Oh, legit. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry you can't share it, but it's a Adidas tote bag. Yeah, so oh, thanks yeah, for. Yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Arsenal going to win the league. Arsenal. Can you say that one more time? Arsenal will not win the league. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Before we are, Arsenal is going to win the league. Yeah? Arsenal is going to win the league. Arsenal is going to win the league. Yeah, and then Arsenal is not going to win the league. Nah, nah, nah. Chelsea. Nah, man. Chelsea will win the league. But Arsenal will not win the league. Yeah, Arsenal will win the league. Man City will get it back, man. Up, up the toffees. Up the toffees? What's this? Uh, yeah. Arsenal? <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. All right. So we finally gave away the prize. And they won the prize. Uh, kudos to them. Um, you got a good spot. It's a bit hard to find people who are willing to, you know, do the giveaways and whatnot. But and good they spot. Got the questions all bang on. Well they got the, all the questions. With a little bit eventually. of assist. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Assist. Brendan Gunn. So that's <laughs> like a three-pointer in FPL terms. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. All right. So the second half has begun. We are returning to our seats. Um, it's going to be a goals galore like what we predicted, yeah? Um, again, uh, we apologise, you know, Joshua and I apologise that we couldn't get the first half of the game. That's oh, goal. oh! Is that a goal? It's a goal for Tampanese! 
from a corner. It was a corner or was it a... Corner to the back post and he headed it in. Full time 3-2, let's go. Oh, so it's 2-1 for Tempanis. I don't know who scored for Tempanis, but it's 2-1 here. So, uh, 23 scored for Tempanis. Yep, yep. Najib, very good hit at the back post. You know, great ball in, great oh, finish. Great finish. So it's 2-1 here. Yeah, it's looking a bit scary for Haogang because Tempanis now got the momentum on their side. So we'll see whether Haogang can uh, equalise here. But Tempanis now, the fans are a bit more riled up. So let's see whether how this goes, yeah? Yeah, you know, I mean, your 3-1 prediction is gone. But, you know, maybe Haogang can come back and win 3-2. Well, well potentially your 3-2 your, your predictions could still be on the cards. Still on the cards. But, you know, second half of, you know, Singapore games are always very, very exciting. So. Fantastic. All right. So Great we'll start to the second half so far. Great start. And we will return back to the action. Quite a close chance for Haugang and now it's a corner. Let me pan it to the corner right now. Alright, Eddie. You just missed another goal. Uh, no, I, I caught it on footage. No, actually, I only caught the celebration, but how do you find the second goal? It's just a great set piece, good corner, routine. I mean, I'm glad I'm not supporting either of the teams because this match them nerve wracking. Nerve wracking, it is. Alright, so play has stopped for injury right now. 53 minutes in. The holes are, um, again, full force as always. Love to see it. Joshua, do you think Haogang can equalise here? I think for sure they have a lot of quality going forward, but you know, we'll see how Tempest manage the game from here on out. Still a long way to go, about 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned for more coverage of the Singapore Cup Finals between Tempest and Haogang United. So far, Tempest is leading 2 1 right now in Jalabasa Stadium. Has got the equalizer, Jalamba Star Stadium. It's too old for Haugang. Joshua, what are your thoughts about the equalizer? Well, go, you know, I talked a lot last night about how I thought he was Haugang's best foreigner. He showed it today and he showed it just with one equalizer. And, you know, could it be a full time 3 2 to the Japanese? We'll see. I'm going to go about 3 2 now, Haugang. Let's go, Haugang. Come on, you rules. The fan support is immense, crazy. You can probably see it in the last footage. They have been, they, they went mad here. They went bonkers here. They went bonkers here. United all the way! Alright, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Hey, I'm an Arsenal fan, but I love you never walk alone, you know? You know, you. It's a, it's a beautiful song, beautiful song. You gotta love it. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm fans with you. You never walk again, bro. How do you find the equalizer, mate? How do you find the equalizer? I told him that, like, it was cool. <laughs> Great goal, great goal, great, great goal. goal. You love to see it. We've got a freaking game right now at Jalan Besar. You love to see it. Right, just right after Haogang Scott. I, I didn't really catch that. What happened, Joshua? I check, cut in, going a left footed shot. You know, Pedro was just inches away from it and it just went past the post. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But, you know, momentum with Haogang right now and, you know, they could very well win it. 59 minutes now, 59 minutes. 
Haogang with all the momentum in the world. Can they back the winner here at Jalan Besar? We'll see. So it's the 60 second minute right now. Shawal Anwar just had a great chance on the counter. How do you fancy Hao Gang or Tepani's chances, Joshua? You know, I, I still think other side can win it. It just takes one moment of magic, and that was almost one. But, you know, with Boris up front, Tempanese could always just get a chance to finish it. Yeah, I can, I can imagine because Krychek just now was a really a, a moment of brilliance for Krychek. A worldie, a worldie. A worldie from Krychek. Okay, so it's um, 66 minutes now. There's an injured player on the field. Uh, tensions are flaring up. I think potentially uh, Haugang and Tempanese, maybe there could be a potential red card here. You never know. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's a very soft free kick. I thought, you know, it looked like he got the ball. Maybe replay so say otherwise. But it's a very good opportunity for Tempanese for the free kick. So we are pen back to the game. It's going to be Tempanese free kick right now. Sahil Suhaimi is coming off for Andre Morris. Andre Morris will be quite interesting to see how this goes, yeah? Andre Morris could he stabilize the midfield and be the difference maker for Haogang to get a winner here. Okay, so the official came back to me and he said, all good, you know, so all fair and square. He said that he thought I was live streaming, but yes, I was not doing the vlog for the game for the love of Singapore football, you know, so you love to see it. And now it's Haogang corner, headed by Botteluzzo out. So it's 69 minutes now. No pun intended, there's 69 minutes now and you know, we can see whether... Can you see how Gang or Tepanese going to his winner here? We don't know, yeah? So we'll see how that goes. You know, fair play to the officials. At least he went back to check with his uh, higher up management and all good here. So, not live streaming. As long as there's no live streaming here, yeah? Good to see it. Alright Josh, so it's se about to be 75th minute. The game has slowed down quite considerably. Um, you, just now you're telling me off camera that you want to, you may see a Haogang winner, possibly. I mean, I would like to, given that we're sitting with the Haogang fans, you know, absolutely seen to the, the score. For sure, for sure. So, 75th minute now. Let's see how this goes for, now Tampanese has the ball, playing some good football here. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so as the Hools is still in full force, I've got a friend here, Deep, yeah? Hi, how's it going? Is uh, Deep your name? Yes. Alright, nice to meet you. So far, how's the game going? Pretty exciting, it's been end-to-end. -end. Um, we've seen uh, four goals here, so... Yeah, um, I think I think the ticket was very worth buying. Fantastic, fantastic. So do you see Haogang winning here or Tampanese winning here? Um, as a neutral, I'm actually gunning for Haogang because I feel that for most neutrals, Haogang is more like the people's club. Yeah. I think that's very fair, very fair. And you know, this could be their first silverware in their history. Do you know that? Well, I wasn't aware of that, but yeah. man, the stakes are high, so I hope they go and win it, man. Yeah. Cheers, Deep. Thanks so much for the interview. Cheers. Cheers. The goal difference specialties, we keep missing goal footages, yeah, but it's been a hat trick for Christian Krajcek in the 70th minute. What are your thoughts about the goal, Joshua? Very good goal, a bit fortunate the way it broke in, but great finish, you know, and wonderful hat trick. Wonderful hat trick. How about you, Deep? How do you find the goal? 
Haugang were toying with Tampanese in their penalty box. And that was great. Fantastic. You love to see that. You love to see that. Eddie, how are you as a neutral friend? Is it fantastic so far? Great game, man. Great game. Great game. You love to see it. It's 78 minutes. Can Tampanese find the equalizer? Stay tuned to find out more. coming. It could happen, you know, there's still about 10 minutes at least, so just needs one moment. Just this one moment it is, yeah, yeah, so let's tune back to the game. watching the vlogs. It's the perfect time to talk to you all because the hooves are a bit quiet. Uh, oh. Tampanese just had a chance. I mean, it was, seems like a penalty shot, but I think there's nothing to it. Yeah, there's nothing to it. All right. So, le yeah, so let me talk about the game as well, yeah? 85th minute right now. Hao Gang has established their dominance on this game. Tampanese had a good rhythm of the half, half, half time, but I think they cannot get the rhythm now. Looking really good for Hao Gang to clinch their first silverware in their history. We love to see it for Hao Gang United. And it's a foul. Let's go back to the game. All right, Boris just missed a, quite a close range hater, you will say. The angle, the, the angle is a bit tight, but I know it's still a very good chance for him. A very acute, acute, acute angle, but you know, still had a good chance for Tampanese. It's now the 88 minute. Tampanis are trying, they're scrambling to find the equalizer. Alright, so there's four minutes, four minutes of stoppage time. As I said earlier on, like the 88 minute, Tampanis scrambling to get an equalizer, right? So I think it's gonna end here 3 2. How are gonna finally clinch their first silverware? in their history. Yeah, get ready to turn your phone around because I think it's going to be real crazy down there. Alright, so Josh and I have uprooted to the uh, the, the big grandstand because we want to take a better view when Hao Gang goes crazy right now. It's going to be an intense celebration. Do look out for the post-game celebration. Hao Gang wasting time here. I think there's only one minute left here in the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, they had a free kick at the back and I think it swapped around three players. So, I mean, yeah, they're looking to see it out. It looks quite likely at the moment. You're going to love the scenes coming up right now.
silverware in their history. 3-2 here. What a cracking game. Joshua, what are your thoughts? Post-match reaction. Yeah, I think overall it's a very deserved win. But how come, you know, they managed to get the winner in the end through Krychek. Of course, second goal was absolutely brilliant. Third goal just sealed it and... Of course, you know, I predicted five goals and even though it went the other way, I'm very happy for Kang and their fans. You love to see it. There were even some fans that went on, uh, went on the pitch. You'll see it in, uh, on the previous video. Uh, I'll probably stay on to... Oh, sorry. I'll probably stay on to do the pro see the ceremony. Uh, Tampanese played. They played all right. You know, uh, there's good uh, banter all around for Tampanese and Haokang. But ultimately, I think the fans won today. It was a fantastic game for $10. This kind of action, fantastic. So... Great atmosphere. The Hong Kong Hulls are going mental right now. And yeah, stay tuned for the post-match uh, ceremony with the Hong Kong United as your 2022 Singapore Cup champions. All right, so before the ceremony, I've met some friends and uh, you know, they've watched the goal difference. It's good to see these kind of people and it's Vic. How are you, Vic? Hey, I'm feeling good, man. After a great win. Woo! What are your thoughts about the game? Was it a fantastic game? It was. Yes, okay. It was a great game. How can I make some good er make some errors? But Christian Kajet, I love you! Let's go! Oh, let's go, Christian Kajet with a hat trick. Let's tend to the players celebrating now. Cheers, big. Hey, cheers, man. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. So we are walking out after the trophy ceremony. Fantastic atmosphere. I mean, we all knew it was going to be a fantastic game and atmosphere, right? I mean, you, you couldn't have said it better, you know, yesterday during the stream and said it's going to be a cracker of the game, and yeah. indeed it was. Yeah. Indeed, what such a cracker of a game. Post game reactions right now as we are heading out of the stadium. So for me, Christian Krajicek, hat trick, fantastic performance from the Haogang. I think, of course, we didn't catch the first 23 minutes of the game, but it's all right. I think that they, they scored early and then they dominate. Uh, at the end of first half, it was a bit shaky for them, you know, before half time. And then after that, with that being said, they came out second half swinging. I think it's fair to say that. And then Krychek with a worldie for his second goal. And then when Haogang needed a winner, Krychek stepped up to the plate and scored the winner for Haogang to clinch their first silverware in their history. Joshua, what are your thoughts about the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think he had three chances and he put all away. The second, you could even call it a half chance because of how far it was, right? Yeah. But, you know, in the end, well done to Haokang. And, you know, we talked yesterday about the foreigners, about the key players and whatnot. And definitely for Haokang, for me, it was Krychek and he showed it today. Yeah. So Joshua made real good points. Most, influ sorry, most influential foreigner for Haokang. And it proved, di it proved dividend for Haokang. Such a fantastic performance. I think the squad gave it their all today. It was a real great performance. And then we're going to do, I think that's all for the post-match reactions. And again, um, I think Joshua and I are going to make our separate ways soon. Yeah, so let's do a final thoughts about the game. Uh, for myself, 
again, the goal difference, we apologise that we didn't catch the last, uh, the first 23 minutes, I think. But I think I'll show some pictures that the crowd was immense today. You know, Jalan Besar, full packed stadium. Atmosphere was really good. And a deserved victory for the Cheetahs. You know, finally they got the moniker out of their back that they finally won a, trof a silverware trophy, you know, for them. And the Cheetahs, and if they can keep the core for next season, you know, Haugan could look very promising. Yeah, What's your thoughts, yeah. Joshua? I think probably they have to strengthen a bit at the back, you know. We talked about their defence yesterday. 71 goals considered, that's not good enough, you know, if you want to challenge for a title. But, you know, at the start, a lot of people were saying Haukang would be the closest competitors to Elbrecht and Sailors. In the end, it was Tampanese. But, you know, Haukang today showed that perhaps they're not that far away and next season could be a different thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great scenes. So with that, I'll probably do one more uh, outro in the car. But I think from Joshua, you're going to sign off from here. Uh, any yeah, thoughts yeah. for your first, uh, your first vlog with me? You know, it's quite good to finally see Joshua on the vlogs. And I love to have a company, uh, you know, company with me. It's good to see. And thanks, Joshua. Thanks so much for yeah, accompanying me. I mean, it was good, you know, to meet other football fans, to enjoy a game of football. And, you know, a cup final is always great to see the scenes uh, when the fans of the team that wins, you know, they can celebrate. I saw a few pitch invaders, chairs flying. So it was great scenes and a great experience today. Yeah. Thanks Great sense. Yeah, no worries, no worries, Joshua. Okay, now I'll catch you tomorrow. I think we're going to probably do a live show. See, I'll, I'll let you know about the topic. <laughs> so I'll try and get this vlog by tomorrow, Sunday. So Sunday morning, you guys can enjoy this vlog. Okay, so I know I said earlier on that I'll do it in the car, but I think I'll walk towards the car and do the outro. I think we pretty much covered most of the game. I think Krajicek was fantastic for today. Um, you know, the man of the match with his hat-trick performance. Tampanese played, they had spells where they were, the, of course, the better team. So I think that it's a bit unfortunate for them. Well, uh, as I said yesterday in the stream, you know, who doesn't love a good underdog story? So I guess neutrals and the Haogang fans, you know, fantastic to see the support for them. You can see the kind of the support people are rooting for Haogang more. And deserve victory, as I said earlier on. And again, I apologize that we couldn't do the whole, um, I mean, moonwalk my way into the lift, sorry, moonwalk. So I apologize that we couldn't make it in time. Uh, there was, you know, we had some issues with the ticket, so I had to wait for Joshua. Joshua was a bit running late. And it was a fantastic uh, atmosphere all around. And a great game. Yeah, okay, so I apologise that we couldn't get the whole game footage, but we, you know, how we did get enough. And ultimately, this is the final game for the season, you know. So, um, do give me feedback for future references. I'm going to watch Sailors and Dortmund next week, so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably do a vlog there as well. And, you know, I'm enjoying the aircon right now in the lift lobby. It's fantastic. And yeah, I think I thank you for tuning in, as always. I, the love and support has been immense, and I really appreciate it. Joshua and I, we really appreciate the goal difference. From the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate the support. Atmosphere was really good today. Congrats to the Cheetahs for winning the 2022 Singapore Cup Finals. And, like, comment, subscribe if you do like this kind of content. Look out for more content in the future. There will be a major giveaway coming soon. So if you tuned in all the way, this is a little snippet of what the giveaway is going to be like. At least you guys know there will be a giveaway soon. Uh, in, in tune for the World Cup, you know, in preparation as we are ramping up for a World Cup. So with that, thank you so much for your time. Love and appreciate the support as always. And Brandon from The Goal Difference, I am signing out.